Rye Lane, where my studio entrance is, is a never ending theatre of events. It's just so inexhaustible in its, in it, for me, in its subject matter. I find the area really inspiring. I think at the turn of the century, it was, it was a very exclusive street. The architecture was really beautiful. People would come here far and wide. I think it was one of the first streets to have electricity in the area. So it's been through all these different phases and I've sort of, I'm banging a phase now, which is a great change. I start a lot of ideas because if you don't start things, they don't get finished. And I've lost ideas and I'm terrified of that. So I will start a lot of paintings and then I will get, I fall in love with one. I'll have an idea, it's a starting point, and then that will develop. I'm sort of waiting for the wonderful accident to happen to make it great. So, so and it, it's, it, you know, it starts off with a simple drawing, get shapes in and just let it develop. My emphasis is a lot to do with, with the way that people share their, their community. I really like that about this place. I like it about London. I like the way that people share public spaces. I like the way that they interact. So body language has always really, really been a part of my work. And I'm always trying to look for it. I always want it in the painting. This is called Conversations in Front of a Closed Shop. And um, it's just the way people have just been using the street in the last couple of months. I haven't yet sorted out the light. Well, I know where the light source is, but it's not all put out yet. So I'm sort of holding back on the light. This is a spot that I've not noticed till about a couple of months ago. The rest of the street, the shops have opened up gradually and this, this area hasn't. So it's become a meeting place. And I, quite, I sort of wanted to capture that. And the, and the characters move in and out, but I'm quite happy with these, these, these guys at the moment. Because I've been doing this for quite a while, I know I'm going to win in the end. So there isn't that anxiety that this is terrible and I'm never going to be able to produce anything else again. I'm always looking for the mistake. I'm looking for an accident in a way to make it exciting. If everything goes from, from beginning to end perfectly, it's something really wrong with it. <laughs> it's got to have a fight. It's got to be a battle. It's like, you know, when you look at someone and you can't work out if they're beautiful or not and you've got to a bit, look a bit longer. And I'm sort of looking for that in a painting, really. I want my eye to do some work.